who's ready for some Phillies baseball? Yo, what is going on, buddy? Welcome to Phillies Hot Stove Media, and today we're going to have it our 2022 spring training preview. Uh, so baseball is finally back. Uh, so uh, I am so ready for some Phillies baseball starting next Friday against the Detroit Tigers. Thank you guys for getting into this video. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Please turn on the bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. Uh, so after the long-awaited return, uh, Phillies baseball is back. Uh, so we will be back in action playing exhibition games next Friday. I am just so, so excited. Uh, so uh, you know, let's get hype everyone let's get hype we have 20 spring training games so it's a little bit shorter than usual of course uh but uh you know what we have baseball back that's all that matters we have baseball uh so uh, everyone is just uh, the excitement around major league baseball right now is back I, I think we could all feel it uh people are ready for some baseball people are ready for some baseball uh now as i talked about in the weekly update i got a lot of questions uh, asking me if the spring training game against the Detroit Tigers next Friday uh, in the game, the time is to be determined, probably going to be around 105, uh, is going to be televised. Uh, probably not. It's the first game of spring training. It's on the road. Uh, and uh, it's, it's probably a recipe for it not to be on TV. I mean, especially road games pretty much are never on TV, uh, especially the first spring training game of, uh, you know, the spring training exhibition season. Uh, most likely not going to be on TV. Uh, but uh, then the next game against the Toronto Blue Jays on Saturday, uh, that's going to be a home game, uh, probably will be on TV. Uh, you know, so, uh, of course, you know, NBC Sports Philadelphia coming back. That was that was the news last year. They were starting to cut back. Well, actually, it's kind of started in 2020, starting to cut back on televising uh, spring training games for whatever reason. Uh, it's just very, very sad. Oh, first, I first want to talk about the Philly schedule. It said 20 games, as we'll go through now. The game times are uh, to be determined, as I said. Uh, net first game next Friday on the road against the Detroit Tigers. Uh, next Saturday, which is the 19th of March, against the Toronto Blue Jays at Bay Care Ballpark. Then we go on the road uh, to the uh, go face the Atlanta Braves uh, and uh, that game's on Sunday the 20th then we go and face the New York Yankees at George M. Steinbrenner Field uh, of course last year was like pretty much playing the same teams Yankees Pirates Blue Jays it was like the same like Orioles it was like the same teams every single day it was so annoying we're gonna get a little bit more diversity here in this spring training uh, and then we go back home and face the Detroit Tigers on that Tuesday, and then the Toronto Blue Jays come to Bay Pair Ballpark the next day. Then we go and face the Pittsburgh Pirates on the road. Uh, and that game's on Thursday. Then we go back home and face the New York Yankees at home. Uh, then we go and take on the Detroit Tigers. Uh, then we go to uh, TD Ballpark. We'll play the Toronto Blue Jays. I've been to that ballpark. We go back home and face the Baltimore Orioles. Then we go back to George M. Steinbrenner Field the next day. Uh, then we go back home to Detroit Tigers. Uh, you know, come to Big Care Ballpark to face us, and then the Yankees finally come and face us. Uh, so that's going to be exciting there. Uh, so that'll be the second game at uh, Bay Care Ballpark against the Yankees. Uh, and then we go back on the road and go face the Baltimore Orioles. Then we go back to TD Ballpark to go face the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, then we go back home and face the uh, Detroit Tigers. Uh, then we go back on the road and face the New York Yankees at George M. Steinbrenner Field. Then we go face the Pittsburgh Pirates at home. And then, uh, this is an interesting game. Uh, Wednesday, uh, April 6th, we will go to Tropicana Field uh, and play an exhibition game, you know, spring training game at Tropicana Field against the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, so that will be the, the mark the final spring training game of the schedule. Uh, I actually made a mistake in my post. I said the final spring training game is against the Toronto Blue Jays. I, I saw Scott Lover tweet that out. I just haven't had a chance to fix it yet. I think he got it wrong that I tweeted out. Oh, yeah, against the Toronto Blue Jays. I guess it was a mistake. I'm going to go back and fix that. That is not correct. The final game in spring training is against the Tampa Bay Rays at the Trop. Uh, so, uh, as I talked about the weekly update, uh, you know, that will happen sometimes. They haven't done it in recent years where the, the last couple of games during training, uh, they'll play it in big league ballparks. Uh, so, that's not really that uncommon. But let's talk about my schedule. Let's talk about my schedule uh, for the spring training. Now, if you all remember, I do recap most spring training games. I got the 2022 spring training hat as I debuted in about a week and a half ago. Uh, I always do weekend games, Saturday and Sunday, and I usually will do uh, three games in the middle of the week. No question. Uh, no question. 
Uh, so I will do that first game against the Detroit Tigers. No question about that. Then I'll do the Blue Jays, Braves. Uh, and then I'll just pick. Usually I like to do home games. I'm not going to do every single home game because I, I don't only want to do strictly home games. And usually I will do home games. And the reason why that is is because usually I like to do games that are televised. Now, occasionally you'll see me do games that are not televised, but that's pretty rare. Usually when the game's on TV, you will see a recap. Typically. Uh, I just don't really see a point of doing every single spring training game. Uh, you know, let's say it's like, uh, you know, for example, like the Phillies go face the Pittsburgh Pirates on Thursday, March 24th, uh, and they lose, you know, two to one. I mean, what's really that, what's so important about that? I never do split squads. That's something I never, ever do. Don't have to worry about that. This spring training, we didn't have to worry about that last spring training because of some restrictions with the virus. Uh, so they were not having split squads last uh, season, last spring training. Uh, they're not doing it uh, this spring training because I guess it's so short. Uh, split squads are cool, but I just like it's just what's the point? It's two games one day, uh, meaningless. Of course, the bench coach manages one, and the manager will manage the other one. Uh, so no split squads this spring training. Uh, so that's how it's usually going to go. And then the final week of spring training. So starting on, uh, let me see. Uh, it's probably going to actually. I'm probably going to start with the Yankees game on March 31st. From there on out, up until the game on April 6th against against the Tampa Bay Rays, every single game. Uh, so I will do every single game of spring training the last week to kind of get gear up and get ready for the regular season. And uh, then on uh, Thursday, April 7th, uh, that will be the 2022 season preview. I'll, I'll give my predictions, my final record predictions, talk about the lineup, talk about what my expectations are, and then we have the opening day. Uh, pre-game video and then here we go we're back in the grind 162 every single day uh, so it's going to be very very interesting uh, to see how this all unfolds I can't wait to do it again this is now four years four years for me ladies and gentlemen I can't believe I already had three years behind me so going into year number four of covering the filts uh, so I'm very very excited uh, so some expectations this spring training uh, you know, some things to look out for. Bryce Harper, uh, not going to be playing a lot. Uh, you know, the same thing happened, uh, you know, in 2020. Uh, he's you're not really going to ever really see him play much on the road. Occasionally you might see him, but he doesn't, he doesn't even travel barely much with the team when they're on the road. And, uh, you know, you're only, when you do see him at home, he's only going to play until like the fifth, sixth inning, if that. Uh, so occasionally you might see him on a road game, but pretty rare. I mean, if, usually they'll put him on the road. They'll play him on the road if it's against like the Yankees or someone like that. You know, to you got some attractive fans at the ballpark. Uh, you know, that's when they maybe play him. But pretty rare. Pretty rare we ever see Harp on the road. And the thing with JT is, uh, you know, another you know big name on the Phils. You know, he's a catcher, so that's a little bit different. Uh, I think you are going to see him, you know, of course, much, much more, uh, you know, a different, different animal there, you know, with him being a catcher. Uh, but, uh, you know, that, so that's how I see spring training going. Focusing on the young guys. And let's look out for Bryson Scott. Let's look out for Bryson Scott. I mean, I'm, going, I'm so excited to watch this guy play. He's got the nicest swing. You're going to see Alec Bum get a lot of playing time to try to get him back to his 2020 form. Um, you know, I'm excited to see what he's going to do. Of course, he is already in the majors, but he needs to kind of resurrect his career a little bit. He really, really struggled in 2021, uh, you know, 100% on the defensive side. He even struggled offensively, but more on the defensive side. Uh, but uh, I'm just I'm just so excited. I mean, I, I'm just so excited to see some prospects. You're going to see Micah Bell. This is just going to be great. And, of course, Micah Bell is ranked higher than Bryson Scott. But, honestly, I like Bryson Scott a little bit more. I mean, I love Micah Bell. Don't get me wrong. But this Bryson Scott excites me more than Micah Bell. And, of course, you know, once a position player, once a pitcher. But uh, Bryson Scott is just like, th this is going to be great, man. This is going to be one of the best shortstops in the game. That has already a legendary shortstop. Class already in Major League Baseball. We, we see it, right, with Seager, you know, Correa, Lindor when he's good. Uh, I mean, this is an awesome, you know, you know, Trevor Story, you know, when he was, you know, hitting bombs at Coors Field. I mean, this shortstop class all around Major League Baseball is legendary, man. One of the best, some of the best shortstops we've seen in the game. And this is just unbelievable. Uh, this is just unbelievable witnessing it. If Bryce and Scott can develop, which the Phillies have had some trouble developing, some trouble, a lot of trouble developing homegrown talent. If we could see Bryson Scott develop, I think you're going to see his name in that category as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's one big thing I'm really looking forward to. I mean, uh, yeah, it's cool when Harper hits a home run in, in spring training, but you're more excited to see Bryson Scott do it. You're more excited to see Bryson Scott do it. Also, another guy you're going to be seeing, of course, did make his major debut last year, Hans Kraus. Um, and, uh, of course, he is our number four prospect uh, behind Andrew Painter, who is number three. Uh, so I'm excited about that. And another name you're going to be seeing, too, and this is like the next one, Soto, as someone brought up last night, Juan Rojas. I love that guy. I love that guy. He has kind of one of the most violent swings. I 
just love it. Ethan Wilson, another guy that's been, you know, hyped up a little bit too. You know, got some eyes on him as well. Uh, and also Reese Garcia, a name that's, you know, been pretty common around Major League Baseball. Of course, you remember the former Phillies really pitcher who was traded away for uh, Jose Alvarez at the end of the 2018 season. Reese Garcia at a shortstop. And of course, he shares a name also with Washington Nationals infielder Reese Garcia. Ranked number eight in the Phillies farm system. Uh, so I think the Phillies, believe me, I mean, they've had a lot of trouble, you know, with scouting, player development, etc. But I just think we're a little bit underrated. I, no bias there, but like Bryson Scott should be higher. Bryson Scott should be higher in the top 100 list. Micah Bell should be ranked higher in the top 100 list in baseball. Uh, that is just my opinion, especially Bryson. Uh, I just love Bryson Scott. I just love Bryson Scott. Um, so the future is bright. I mean, you know, Juan Rojas, as I said, I mean, this guy is, this just, this is the future right here, man. You know, Juan Rojas is just a beast. He's a beast. A guy to look out for. Uh, so that is going to do it for uh, this spring training preview. Uh, so as I said, first game against the Detroit Tigers next Friday on the road. Uh, so the game probably will not be televised to keep you posted. Time to be determined. Probably be making a live stream next week. If there's a signing, I'll make a video about that. So you're definitely going to see me next week. Whatever it's I'm going to be doing a live stream, making a video about a signing. Uh, and then you'll see me on Friday night recapping the first game of the 2022 spring training uh, schedule. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Please don't forget your bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, check out the social media link description six. Philly Hot Stove Media, Instagram, Facebook, Instagram. Follow me on Twitter at P Hot Stove Media. Card text 267-225-3392. Email me, Philly Hot Stove Media at gmail.com. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Luke, and I'll talk to you all later. I'll see you.